Spirits review on an absolutely crappy day. Luckily, I got the work done that I needed to get done in the dry earlier. It's chucked it down this afternoon. And uh, yeah, lovely. End of May, uh, getting towards the end of May, and we're still in March temperatures. Absolute rubbish temperatures. So today, we're reviewing uh, from uh, Louis, Louis Jadot, Beaujolais Village. Um, obviously, it's a red wine. Um, turn up the ABV and the eyes. 13% ABV at Louis Jadot. We have made fine Burgundy since 1859. Burgundy's reputation stems from the unique growing conditions or terroir enjoyed by each separate vineyard. Louis Jadot wines celebrate this a diversity reflecting these reflecting these all-important natural differences of soil, aspect and climate. Well, yeah, soil makes a difference to everything you grow, what's in the soil, how much water types of soil. As a gardener, I know that, obviously. Character, a classic fruity gamay with real depth enhanced by the granite soil. Succulent fruit and soft tannins have been created by the traditional fermentation methods. Um, the vineyard, a large proportion comes from the village of, I can't say the word, Regnay, Rene. The wine is made at Com or Jacques uh, winery. Drink within three years of vintage, serve with light meat, poultry and cheese, can be can be served chilled. Beaujolais are, are one of them unique red wines that you can actually chill. And good thing as well, because it's quite cold in the beer room. As my beer kits know. Because um, they're not doing much. But I'm not in a rush, you know, they do what they do. It takes as long as they take as long as they brew to go. So there you go. I already opened this last night and uh, had two glasses. And uh, just, 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 just uh, kind of at the spot for sod it. I'll, I'll have a couple of glasses. So as you can see, a lovely dark um, reddish tinge to the black. And they call it a red wine, but it's not actually red, is it? Because red, you know, it's not that type of red. But yeah. Lovely legs on it when you, you know, when you um, swirl it around in the glass. Beautiful nose, um, black currant for sure. Just watching my, where my dog's been, horrendous he is. Now I'm hoping, uh, with regards to the channel, to try and set up a two, uh, go multi, um, basically go on YouTube and um, Instagram at exactly the same time. I'm looking at the technology to do it and um, but not using my Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits YouTube channel to go live because uh, I think you use YouTube and you piggyback YouTube to go on Instagram. That was so strange. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking to do that and uh, as an experiment and do, and do d dual live um, streams. The Instagram stream won't be the best stream because my phone will be the better stream because it's the one's using the, using the um, webcam, which isn't a great webcam. And the sound might be a bit more crappy, but um, you know, if it gets it out there, people start seeing the views, then jump onto the streams on YouTube, then that could be a good thing for the future growth of the channel because obviously there's a hell of a lot of people on Instagram um, who probably don't know about my channel so um, and I've learned the trick where you have to you have to follow thousands of people to get them to follow you and uh, I've been doing it organically where I don't really follow anybody and um, obviously that's not the easy that's not the way to do it and I've learned that little lesson so Aroma on it. Don't 
definitely okay chilled. Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely nice chilled, nice warm feeling coming from it. Definitely noticing a massive hit on lives now. Now the pubs are open. Really starting to see that hit. It'll be interesting to see where this goes with lives and uh, and also views as well. Not even on lives, but normal views. It's um, mm, interesting. I do think in um, YouTube is that 90%, well not 90%, I'd say 60% of the people that are supposedly subscribing are bots and on bigger channels even more so because the amount of truly active people is so small compared to the amount of subscribers. Yeah, it's interesting. It does, it's... Um, Yeah, anyway, back to the wine. Get nice dryness to it now. I need to call that dog in because he's, he's getting wet. Six minutes in, need to crack on. So. Really strong on the palate. The, the dark fruit's coming through lovely. Um, for me, getting a bit of cherry, certainly getting a bit of um, black currant. So warming, easy drinking. 13% oh. is a good strength to it. There's a nice fruitiness. Um, you can feel it going down, that, the, the, the strength going down, wow. As you can see, if you look at the colour, see the, the tinge, like the reddish tinge to it. Uh, I'm not pulling it any further. So yeah, an easy going uh, red wine. Um, Oh. Some nice complexities in there. Um, good flavour, easy drinking. I'm not sure how much I paid for it. Um, can't remember for the life of me. Uh, for me, about 4.3 out of 5. Would I drink it again? Which is always the main thing. Yes, I would. A nice drop of red from France. A burgundy, for those of you uh, who are proper wine buffs out there. And that's it for this wine review. Thank you all for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. And uh, we'll see you later. And uh, whatever. So, put, just put you off. Cheers all.